All right, we are going to go into a little comic shop called The Stand. And it's interesting because they have no books. So it's all older books or back issues. Kind of a small shop. Um, and I think they have like uh, magic games and activities in the back. But uh, I know a lot of people on YouTube have been commenting that they don't like new books. Well, here's your shop, right? Some comic books shops don't carry new books anymore. So here's one that only has older books, but it's very small. So let's go check it out. the stand and uh it's got a cool name i don't know if it's the stand that you put the comic books on like uh put it on the stand or your last stand like this is our final battleground here or that stephen king book right the stand so uh we don't know but it's a cool name actually they have a lot of uh usually some star wars books in here and they have uh statues and they have cards and other collectibles um up the block, this is the uh, Q train that goes through Brooklyn, and this is uh, Neck Road. So if you get off at this stop, you'll have to walk about a block. And then uh, it's right here. All right, kind of, uh, you might pass it, right, if you didn't know where it was. Right, let's go inside, check it out. I'll give you the atmosphere, I'll turn off the music. All right, nice and quiet, they got the radio on. And they have a little stand here, a stand of comic books. And they usually have stuff on display, like, uh, it's always uh, swapped out, like newer stuff that they just found and stuff, and they're just showcasing it. Sure. So you can probably go through here. They have the Wolverine, the Case Files issue, Aliens, they have some Aliens books here, Cull, Venom, Silver Surfer, this is What If, the Silver Surfer Never Escaped Earth. All right, we got an older Thor book, She-Hulk, Hulk, Batman Detective. Oh, look at this! Yes! The other day, I got the Mobius Silver Surfer Parable number one, and here's number two. I was looking for this. All right, so now I have number one and two of that uh, miniseries. And I, wanted, I, was, I was tracking that down, the Mobius Stan Lee uh, book, and I got it. All right, here's Batman Detective, some older books here. So I got a Mobius book right away, and I think it was five bucks. I'll grab it. Got some Walking Dead, and they have some Hot Wheels. See the Hot Wheels cars there on the side? Hot Wheels toys. All right, maybe I'll dig through some of these uh, boxes, too. The boxes are always swapped out, too. So if we go through these, they don't have a, a ton of books here, but they swap out all of the inventory. Um, Batman is a Venom. There's a... Uh, I had that Superman where he fights uh, Piel or... Uh, I always say hell, right? It's a whole book of Batmans for five bucks. Gotham Knights. Looks like these are a lot of uh, 90s and oh, oh, year three Batman. All right. See the Hot Wheels on the bottom? And they have raw books on the bottom here on the floor and long boxes. I think those are like a buck or two. And this is, oh, Shadow of the Bat. Oh, is this Hush? Oh, maybe I should grab this. Is this the first Hush? I can't remember. Ah, oh. so you need you need key collector. You need the app to find out. I can't remember what, what issue that was. If that's the first, the one is because that was Jeff Loeb and uh, Jim Lee. So I thought they teamed up and they set off the uh, hush. But let me know in the comments below if I missed it. Did I just miss a good one? And every store has Funko Pop now. You know, a bunch of Funko Pop, and they have some uh, wall books, some older X Men, and some Valiant books, some Wolverine Spawn image. The store always has a lot of Spawn and uh, Star Wars, I notice.
definitely have uh, some Silver Surfer uh, single issues, some Avengers books. I'm just randomly going through books that capture my eye. I guess because you can't go through every book here. But they do uh, swap out the uh, stock all the time. Every time I come in, there's always new books. Fantastic Four. And then there's some other books here, too. They have two Batman books on the side, and they have a Spider-Man book. Oh, here's a nice Hulk. A, uh... It's a reprint of the origin story. And then on the side is a Spider-Man box, and then there's a random box. Wow! Is a Spider-Man. Let me check out the Spider-Man box, maybe? <coughs> oh, here is Amazing Spider-Man. Web of Spider-Man is an annual. Web of Spider-Man. Uh, let's see, a reprint. Was that the Milestone Editions of, uh, was that Amazing Spider-Man Ditko? Was that number six? The First Lizard? Oh, here you go, Peter Parker. This is a spot. The, that villain, the spot. I think he's coming up in a, uh, a movie or something, isn't he? Or a TV show? I think that's the first appearance of Spot or his first cover, maybe? <laughs> oh, here we go. Superior Spider-Man. Remember this? So I think 33 and 34 are good ones because they lead right into the uh, into the Spider-Verse, right? Doesn't it actually start in Superior Spider-Man number 33 and 34? And then it leaps into, into the Spider-Verse? The whole Miles Morales thing is a Punisher book. Uh, Spider-Man with a Punisher in it. Uh, all right, and then there's more uh, on the on the there's more wall books, and then there's some another box on the side here. Here's some collectibles, some Funko Pop, some Hot Wheels. Cool little collectible store, right? It's very simple, but they have some cool stuff in here. And there's uh, some Magic the Gathering cards. Let's dig in this book. I'll speed it up a little. All right, we got a bunch of books in here. It looks like a lot of uh, um, trades in there. Oh, there's Batman Who Left. Number two, Catwoman number one. Look at that. I have that book. This is the Bane, Batman, New Gods. Look at this. Cool, man. 20 Center. Good old these Infinity Gauntlets, right? That Galactus cover is awesome, right? Was that number five? So freaking cool. Monster kill. And this is a Wolverine Origins. I was thinking the uh, origin was the Jenkins one, and then someone else wrote the... Uh... Oh, here we go. Alex Ross. Marvels? I should grab this. Looks like it's in good shape, too. Oh. All right, pretty cool, right? Well, that Marvels was like 10 bucks. I don't know, maybe it's like a $5 book. Oh, the best cover ever. Here we go. This one's a little pricey, though. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. But it's like 20 bucks. You want to talk iconic? Come on, people. A round of applause. A round of applause for this cover. Yay! All right. Monster kill. Ninja K, is this the first one from early 90s? The 90s. The 90s. The 90s. That's like 94. That's the first actual number one, I think. Here's Warlock. Some Star Wars books here. I should grab this, right? The first one, number one. It's a cool book to have. I might have this. I'm not sure. The 90s. The 90s. The 90s. All right, I'm starting to get a little pile of books here. I don't know if I can get all these. That Jonah Hex, I have that miniseries. It's like number two or four. Um, and then they have... Oh, look at it, Secret Wars! Yeah, I don't see these books around that often. Secret Wars? It's number ten. More Infinity Gauntlet. He's got the whole set here, right? I forgot Infinity. I sold a bunch of Infinity Gauntlets. I don't know how many. I think I have like three left. Of, of the series. All right, and then we have uh, Web of Spider, a little annual Web of Spider Man. Oh, here's a uh, Carnage cover, right? Oh, Venom, Venom attacks. Three seventy four. Here's a Milestone edition. 
They got a lot of these. There are milestone books in here. There's a Venom. Batman Who Laughs. Here we go. Grim Knight. And I love that. I know a lot of people hated that. Batman Who Laughs. I thought that was great, that miniseries. All right, Lady... This isn't the first one, though. Lady Death. All right, so they always have, like, cool finds in here. And it's kind of reasonable. They're just, like, minor keys. There's a Deadpool book. Annihilation Conquest. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed that. All right, and then they have, um... See that foil cover there? The 90s! The 90s! The 90s! That Carnage book is uh, not that old, is it? Absolute Carnage. Here's the Immortal Hulk run. Was that number 14? All right, and then they have more Funko Pop. They got some wall books up here. Right, they have uh, Peter Parker's Marriage, Marvel Zombies, that Venom book. Oh, my goodness. What was that Lethal Predator? Oh, Lethal Protector? What was that book? Oh, there's a Infinity Gauntlet. That must be a really good uh, copy of it. And then there is Hulk. Old X-Men there. Death of Superman. It's a nice dice. Uh, I mean, it's not huge, but they have... Uh, if you come in here every once in a while and just dig through the boxes, they always have some cool finds. And it's like minor keys. The prices are pretty good. Here's some uh, Magic the Gathering cards. So let me know if I missed anything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I tried to speed it up. And uh, check out my other videos. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know what kind of videos you'd want to see in the future. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.